Hello, my to Jumeirah, you're watching Northeast Express on Hornbill TV. All together for Tata trucks were damaged after suspected cookie militants opened fire on Tuesday morning in between Shanti Kunyo and Kai Mai under Tamenglong District along National Highway 37 in Fal Jiripam Highway. There was no security personnel to guard the two national highways that passes through Manipur. The exact location of the incident has been reported to be at around 160 kilometers from Imphal and nearly 60 kilometers from Jiripam side towards Imphal. As per the preliminary report from the police, the incident occurred at around 10:30 a.m. when suspected cookie militants fired at a convoy of goods laden trucks and oil tankers in which two diesel trucks, one petrol truck and another LPG gas bullet tanker were on their way to Imphal from Jiripam. As a result, petrol and diesels were seen flowing on the road. One oil tanker driver named Tulada Magar from Irang Partu was hit on his right feet. He is now reportedly out of danger after receiving treatment at Nungpa Hospital. The Manipur government has been bringing the goods-laden vehicles and oil tankers via the safer but little use NH-37 for the past 10 months after ethnic violence erupted from May 3rd last year. Following the attack, security measures in the area have been intensified and an investigation has been launched by the authorities to apprehend the culprits responsible for the ambush. Authorities are continuing their efforts to identify and apprehend the individuals behind the ambush, assuring that adequate security measures are in place to ensure public safety. In the wake of the attack, panic buying of petrol and diesel has been observed at petrol pumps in the valley districts of Manipur. This surge in demand is due to fears of a possible cease work strike by transporters. Long queues of vehicles, primarily four-wheelers, have been seen at the petrol pumps with lines extending up to more than 100 meters. Despite these concerns, there has been no official confirmation of the transporters calling for a cease work strike as of the filing of this report. Meanwhile, in the aftermath of today's attack on Imphal, Jiribam Root, the chief minister of Manipur and Biran Singh, has called on a transporters' deals Distributors and drivers, union secretaries, presidents, executive members of oil marketing companies to discuss of today's unfortunate incident at Kaimai Jiripam route. Hi sir. Hi petrol ini ya. Ni. petrol ini ya. Ha. Hai diesel kom ni sih. Tayar. Tayar. Tayar cap. Diesel diesel ram mah itu. Khat diesel kom dah aku hum tu. Marok mah miss tau lah. ตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัว
दो हजार चौबीस में इंडिया जो गठबंधन हम लोग का दल है वह इस पर उनर होगा हंड्रेड परसेंट मीरा भक्त अगर जरूर जीतेंगे वो उपयुक्त प्रार्थी है गुवाहाटी के हर मुद्दे पर बात करते हैं सत्य को हमेशा बाहर करते हैं जो बोल वो हर मुद्दे पर बोलते हैं योग्य प्रार्थी है वो पार्लियामेंट जाएंगे तो जरूर जीतेंगे मीरा 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 राय जुलाई देखा पासे मिनिमाम चार पाँच हजार राय जुलाई जी बीजेपी सरकार लटी लंजना भुक्भगी गए राइज भुक्भगी मिशा कथा राइज मिशा कथा कै क्यों लालच देखा गति के राइज नामाने राइजे सतर्क खूब आसे ऊल से आपन लोग देखा पासे आम निश्चित मीरा बैदक लश्चित हम यार मान सिद्धान मीरा बैदक जय आनीमे राइज जय आशादी As Lok Sabha elections are set to begin from April 19, election officials are all reaching their places of duty for the polls. In Meghalaya, approximately 50 polling stations have no motorable routes. Yet polling parties are walking to reach their respective stations for people to exercise their rights to vote and elect their representatives. The Chief Election Commissioner of Meghalaya, B D R Tiwari, said the state receives maximum rainfall and is a hilly region. Therefore, a lot of weather and geographical challenges are faced. But the polling parties are prepared to deal with it so that elections are held smoothly. जैसे आप जानते हैं मेघालय एक तो सबसे ज्यादा बारिश वाला क्षेत्र है और दूसरा पहाड़ी क्षेत्र है तो मौसम और भूगोल की काफी सारी चुनौतियां हमारे सामने हैं लेकिन इन चुनौतियों से निपटने के लिए उनको हमने पूरे इंतजाम किए हैं जैसे एक कालाटेक पोलिंग स्टेशन है कम सिंह है ऐसी जगह है जो नदी क्षेत्र में पड़ते हैं अभी लेकिन चूंकि ये सूखा मौसम होता है तो कालाटेक तक भी हम गाड़ी से पहुंचाने की व्यवस्था कर पाते हैं कम सिंह ऐसी जगह है जहां पर वेस्ट जयंती हेल मामलारम क्षेत्र में है जहां पर बोट से जाना होता है और ऐसे कई जगह हैं जहां पर जो लिविंग रूट ब्रिजेज हैं जो पेड़ की जड़ों को जोड़ जोड़ करके एक लिविंग रूट है हमारे यहाँ ब्रिज बनाए गए हैं उनसे और ऐसे लगभग 200 से ज्यादा हमारे स्टेट में लिविंग रूट ब्रिजेस हैं और ऐसे कुछ पोलिंग स्टेशन है जैसे वहां घाटी के उस पार लिविंग रूट ब्रिज के माध्यम से जैसे लोग जाते हैं वहां पोलिंग पार्टीज को भी जाना होता है तो हमारे यहाँ लगभग 50 पोलिंग स्टेशन ऐसे हैं कि जहां हम गाड़ी से नहीं पहुंच पाते हैं पोलिंग पार्टी को पैदल चलना होता है तो हम उसके भी पूरे इंतजाम किए हैं एक दिन पहले पोलिंग पार्टी रवाना होते उनके सुरक्षित वापसी के भी पूरे इंतजाम किए जाते हैं लेकिन मौसम की चुनौती जहां तक है पर इनके सिवा कोई ऐसी ला एंड आर्डर जैसी स्थिति नहीं है और हम बारिश से निपटने का पूरा प्रयास पूरे बंदोबस्त किए हुए हैं तो हमें पूरा विश्वास है और जैसा पहले से देखने को भी मिला है इन क्षेत्रों में बढ़ चढ़कर भागीदारी लोगों ने की है तो इस बार भी हमें पूरा विश्वास है अच्छे से लोगों की भागीदारी होगी और इन क्षेत्रों में भी बहुत ही सुचारू और सुगम तरीके से हम मतदान संपन्न करेंगे After the sitting MP of West Tripura Pratima Bomik was denied party ticket by the PJP, Congress Party on Monday questioned the Saffron Party over the decision and accused the party's high command to watching the political career of a senior women leader and asserted that such actions contradicts the PJP's pro-women slogans. Former CLP leader and senior Congress MLA Gopal Chandra Roy expressed his concern, stating that the replacement of Bomik was unjust and surprising, and further alleged that during former Chief Minister Bibla. Kumar Deb's tenure, political violence was rampant in Tripura. However, he claimed that under Chief Minister Dr. Manik Shah, the state witnessed a significant reduction in violence. Questioning the decision to field Deb in the Rajya Sabha, despite already being a member, Roy emphasized the need for transparency. He highlighted the importance of voters making informed choices to uphold uphold democracy amidst challenges to secularism and the Indian Constitution. दिनों 
ये दो प्रकार है ये ओमेन होटल और पॉपुलेशन फिफ्ट ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन जाति में केंद्रीय और सरकारी जाति गुली ची फिफ्टी परसेंट आम्रा अपनी जर्मनी में आम्रा प्रोत्साहित दिल ची एक लोग कांग्रेस ने कहा है कि नॉट मोदी कहे हैं नारी जोड़ी दायरे के सम्मान केंद्रीय सरकार को के आशा कर्मी अंगनवाड़ी कर्मी एवं मीटर मिले कार्य नियुक्त महिला के बेटों ने दिगुर कर डाबर अफसर से ना एक बार तो दौड़ रहे हैं बीस हजार बारह हजार का नहीं चौबीस दिस इज़ द गारंटी ऑफ़ द कांग्रेस एक आप मुद्दे के रहने दिया मुद्दे के आई टोल्ड यू द मुद्दे गारंटी हैज़ गोट नो ऊपर the PJP election in charge in Manipur, Dr. Ajit Kupchare, on Tuesday accused the Congress of spreading chaos in the state. He said the INC talks about separation of the Nortis and that the whatever the Union Home Minister Amit Shah said is true about the Congress who causes fighting. However, post-2014, the PJP government has developed Manipur by constructing roads and providing electricity. Kopchare also showed optimism over the winning of the NDA candidates in inner and outer Manipur by stating that they are getting elected with massive majorities. He said that our Grah Mantri Ji, because before the Congress has just been put in place, and the Congress has just been put in place, and the Congress has just been put in place. After 2014, we have just been put in place. We have talked about all the people about the development. We are only talking about the development. We don't talk about the problem. We are not talking about the problem. The problem is the problem. The problem is the problem. The problem is the problem. The North East is the problem. We are against this situation. We are against the Hindu state. We are against the Hindu state. We are against the Hindu state. I am from Maharashtra. I am from 25 days in Manipur. Every person is against the Hindu state. We are against the Hindu state. We are against the Hindu state. यहाँ का हर आदमी आराजकता के खिलाफ है मणिपुर की जनता ऑनेस्ट है सिंसियर है डाउन टू अर्थ है मेहनती लोग है देश के प्रति सोच है लगाव है मोदी जी के प्रति लगाव है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रति लगाव है क्योंकि जब हालात थे तब रोड पे कौन था भारतीय जनता पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता था सेवा कार्य में भारतीय जनता पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता था रिलीफ कैंप में सभी तरफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग है जहां जहां मैं रिलीफ कैंप में जाता हूँ वहां पर सभी हमारे भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता सेवा कार्य में जुटे हैं तो हम लोग सिर्फ राजनीति भी नहीं करते हम देश की सेवा करते हैं मणिपुर में भारतीय जनता पार्टी का इनर का और आउटर का दोनों भी कैंडिडेट्स जो है हमारे अलायंस वाले भी हम सब जन मिलकर चुन के आ रहे हैं भारी मात्रा में बहुमत के माध्यम से हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री माननीय नरेन्द्र भाई मोदी जी हमारे देश के गृह मंत्री माननीय अमित भाई शाह जी इनके दिल में मणिपुर है इनके दिल में मणिपुर की शांति प्रॉस्पेरिटी और इस मणिपुर के विकास के लिए उनके मन में एक बहुत बड़ा सपना है उन्होंने नॉर्थ ईस्ट के लिए भी काफी बड़ा उन्होंने योगदान दिया है और जब भी कभी वो भाषा करते हैं तो नॉर्थ ईस्ट की भाषा करते हैं और मणिपुर के बारे में जितना माननीय मोदी जी को लगाव है माननीय हमारे अमित भाई को जो लगाव है ऐसा किसी भी तरह का लगाव कांग्रेस के कोई नेता में नहीं है कैसे हालात है मैं पूछ रहा हूं आपको मैं बीस दिन से यहां पे हूं मैं खुलेआम घूम रहा हूं लोगों के साथ मिल रहा हूं गरीब लोगों के पास जा रहा हूं कार्यकर्ता के घर पे जाके खाना खा रहा हूं बूथ पर जाके कार्यकर्ताओं के साथ मीटिंग कर रहा हूं हमारे महिला माता भगिनी जो है ये सब मिलजुल कर काम कर रहे है यहां पर पूरी तरह से शांति है कोई हालात विलात कुछ नहीं है सब एकदम बढ़िया चल रहा है देश के ऊपर प्रेम करने वाला मणिपुर का जनता है इस राष्ट्र के ऊपर प्रेम करने वाला मणिपुर का जनता है यहाँ का इलेक्शन पीसफुल होगा यहाँ के इलेक्शन में बीजेपी का कैंडिडेट और हमारा आउटर का कैंडिडेट को हमारी भारतीय जनता पार्टी और उसकी अलायंस की पूरी पार्टियां सब मिलकर बहुमत की मात्रा से हम चुन कर लाएंगे और माननीय मोदी जी का हाथ मजबूत करेंगे Residents of Assam Silcha are threatened by growing incidents of robbery. In another incident, a bike-worn thief snatched a purse of a woman and was caught on CCTV footage in Silcha on Monday evening. This is the second such case in the city within a week. The Monday incident occurred in the heart of the city at Nagnaha Lane. 
Speaking to media persons later, the victim Mahua Purka Yashta said she had only rupees 6,000 in the purse, but it was filled with important documents to prove her credentials. हेलमेट लगान मान शिलचर शहर प्रशासन कैम दिन वार्ड कमिशनर मणिपुर प्रदेश कॉग्रेस कमिटी कल्ड आउट इंडियन होम मिनिस्टर फर एलेज हिप्रोक्रेसि इन डिलिंग उथ मणिपुर क्राइसिस Manipur Pradesh Congress Vice President Debrata Singh while speaking at the Congress Bhavan said it was the Sam Rifles report which is saying violence in Manipur has been inflamed by the Chief Enbiran Singh political ambition. Sam Rifles is an organization which comes directly under the Ministry of Home Affairs and Sam Rifles reports a PJP's Chief Minister as virtually responsible for violence in Manipur while on the other hand you know Home Minister Amit Shah is calling the congress as a force trying to break up the state they brought i asserted it may be mentioned that union home ministry of amit shah while speaking at him fall on 15 of april has said wherever congress go they create divisions while pjp believed in the politics of integration they brought up further calls out out union home minister for calling congress candidate for union manipur parliamentary constituency bimol akoitam as a part of tukre tukre gang Bimol Akoyam is an associate professor at JNU who has continuously called out the central and the state government for their failures in the last 10 years they brought a added while congress party's reaction came immediately pjp manipur pradesh unit mahila president luktia lema said they not only have expectations but have full confidence on union home minister amit shah to bring solution for manipur's crisis she called amit shah visit as the truth the pur pradesh congress committee strongly opposes and condemns the statement given by the union home minister michaji on his visit to manipur relating to the lok sabha election as part of his campaign of the northeast we pick up four points where the home minister alleged congress party is responsible for many things we recall the statement given by him on 2nd june 2023 promising to people of manipur that he will come back in 15 days and solve the manipur crisis which was in his infant position in june 2023 he never uttered a word and he never came back nor tried to contact the public and the leaders but he used to command the state government through the chains of the dgp unified command and many other so many things of the four points will come to the border fencing issue where the union minister home minister claim it is and it has been 
the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has taken the initiative to fence the border between Myanmar and India to prevent the crisis or similar crisis, whatever it is, it is 100% forced. If we go to the MSA annual report of 2012 and the 13, at page number 34, under the column border management along India Myanmar border, we find that border fencing was started in that period. The 10 kilometers which the BJP claimed to have done the fencing this year was already started, work was already started between 2012 and the 13, sanctioning an amount of 30.9 something crore and also having all the necessary survey technical assessment of the border fencing 1640 kilometer across India and the Myanmar border. And this is completely false that Amisa made the statement. Secondly, he further claimed that our inner parliamentary constituency candidate, Sri Angomsa Bimola Koizan, associate professor in Zenu, is part of the Tukre Tukre deal. The BJP, you know, the Home Minister actually expressed the position taken by the BJP all over the country, whoever, whosoever, spoke or speaking and has been speaking against the BJP and the establishment are all termed as a tukre tukre. As for example, Sri Bimal Singh was deeply engaged over the last almost two decades criticizing mostly during the uh, last one decade against the establishment for the BJP's complete failure of the implementation project and also the falsity of their uh, ideology, whatever we call it, Hinduta and the other thing. Head of Lok Sabha Elections 2024, Home Minister Amit Shah attended a public gathering in Tripura. Tripura Chief Minister Banik Shah also attended a public gathering. While addressing the gathering, Amit Shah said PM Modi has worked to increase the respect of tribals. Congress and communists continue to rule for years, but not even a single tribal son of daughter was made the president of the country. For the first time after 75 years of independence, PM Narendra Modi has done the work of honoring the tribals by making Tripati Murmu the president of the country. While addressing the gathering, Tripura Chief Minister Manik Shah said when they submitted their nomination, then only they understood what will be the result. They don't have to wait for June 4 when filed. Nomination on March 27 for the West Tripura constituency, thousands of people were present with them on that day. This election is extremely important, keeping Modi's guarantee in the forefront. This election is important to make India a developed nation by 2047. To strengthen PM Modi's support, they believe that they will win this election. The challenge is to see how much more votes they will get in the election. Mitro, <laughs> सबसे पहले मां त्रिपुरा सुंदरी को बाबा गरिया मंदिर को और सभी देवी देवताओं को प्रणाम कर कर मेरी बात की शुरुआत करना चाहता हूं मैं यहां आया हूं तब विनम्र शासक और जिनके मन में देश और जनता के अलावे कुछ नहीं था ऐसे महाराजा वीर विक्रम माणिक्य किशोर जी को भी मन पूर्वक प्रणाम करना चाहता हूं इतने सालों से कम्युनिस्टों ने महाराजा वीर विक्रम माणिक्य किशोर जी को केवल और केवल बुलाने का काम किया नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने इनके नाम पर त्रिपुरा के That's all we have for now keep watching on Bill TV